Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to introduce you to my grandson, Luke. Uh, his dad's birthday is when? On Sunday. On Sunday. Tonight is Friday night. So we've got just a short time and Luke spent the night uh, just to hang out with Spanky Pop here and to uh, eat some of his uh, grandma's tacos. <laughs> So uh, that's what we did. We had tacos tonight, and now we're going to make uh, my son his dad's birthday present. And what, what do you want to make him? A desk lamp. A desk lamp. Tell everybody uh, that we've been rummaging through our electrical box of leftover parts. We've got an old rusty small block Chevy valve cover. Uh, found a uh, water pump pulley for a Ford 302 small block. We've got a very short piece of conduit and a couple of conduit ends. And if you guys have seen these before, you know what we're going to do. So, uh, you ready to get started? Uh -huh. All right. Well, what do we do first? We need to bend this pipe up and then uh, see if we can't make it look kind of like a swan's neck or something like that. Uh -huh. All right. So, let's get started. All right. All right. Now, stand on... Uh, all right, now hold the pipe. You stand on that right there and pull back. You got it? Pull back. Push down your foot. Keep it on the ground. Pull back. There it goes. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Pull hard. All right, you gotta keep it straight. Pull hard. Pull hard. Keep on going. Keep on going. Don't let it whoop you. Alright, ready? Keep going. Push. I'll help you hold it steady. Push. Keep going. Push some more. Now hold up right there. Alright, let's do it. A little bit more. A little bit more. Don't let it skate on you. I wish we had a longer piece of conduit. Alright, right there. Now we need to turn it over and bend it a little bit the other direction. Let me see it one more time. All right, let's see what that looks like. All right, good job. All right, let's get a file right there, that rat tail file and uh, smooth it out really good on the inside. Go all the way around in a circle. Let's see if this will fit. This side? Yep, Let's see if it'll fit in there. You gotta, may have to twist it because it's almost the same size. Take it all back apart and paint it here shortly, but go ahead and turn, turn it to the right. There you go. That's going to be a tight fit. All right, let's see if we can take these wrench and just put it like that. Just turn that wrench a little bit. There you go. All right, now take this nut and put this nut on the back. Like this? No, on the back side with the threads. Now inside the pulley. And it could be some sharp burrs back there, so did it go? Mm -hmm. Alright, now where's the hoop that we bent? This one? Yep. Alright. Now what you want to do on that, go ahead and stick it in and we'll adjust it and take it apart. Take it apart later. All right, now let me hold that for you and you tighten up that screw right there. This one? That little set screw, yep. You're doing a good job. I think he's gonna be excited about this. All right, I feel it getting tight. Good job. 
All right, pop the vice undone. Yep. How do you do it? Push up. Oh, right. Yep. Everybody makes fun of my vice, but I've used that, and now you've used it, and now it's even that much more special. All right, keep keep loosening it. It didn't it didn't pop all the way off. All right, let's see if it stands up on its own. All right, now we need to drill a hole in the valve cover. Let me get it. All right, I think you got it. All right, now run that file around in it. It's right there. Don't run your hand all the way up in there. Yeah. All right, now let's see. I'm gonna try this one and see if this fits. The drill bit was really close to the same size, so that should fit fine. You may turn it just a little bit. Turn it to the right. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. There you go. There you go. I made to get that. All right. I'm gonna put this nut on the back side. Inside. No, it's up inside here. You know that. To the back room. Yeah. Did it tighten up? We'll tighten it up later for sure. All right, now get that screwdriver and let's tighten this up. Guys, get out in the garage. Them grandkids and kids, and just get you a little project going. It doesn't matter what it is. All right, let's loosen that up. Let's see if this thing's gonna stand up on its own. We may have to weight down the. All right, hold on to it for just a second right there. All right. Gotta tighten it up just a little bit when we do that. And then uh, it looks like the base, we may have to put a little bit of a bend, turn it back this way a little bit. We may have to put a little bit more of a bend right there so that it'll bring it back and put a little bit more weight the, over the center of gravity. And I think that'll probably hold up really well. And then uh, after that, we gotta put probably some LED light receptacles inside here and then we need what to run from the lights to the wall a wire a wire and i've got some wire right there it's coming out of the electrical box and uh yeah let's bend that first and then we'll run the wire all right what do you think about that it's cool it's cool it's all made out of used car parts and scrap electrical parts so now, uh, of course, we're gonna clean that valve cover up, try to shine it as much as we can. I don't think, uh, is that what you wanted to do? You didn't want to paint it, right? Mm -mm. All right, we want to leave it kind of a rat rod, original finish, maybe even leave the uh, 327 sticker on there. That's old school right there, guys. That's uh, Turbo Fire 327, so that's pretty cool. So uh, from this point, we're gonna try to pull some wire through there and that might be the biggest chore of the night because uh, we've already bent the pipe. And it was hard to bend because that was a scrap piece. If you watch the uh, last Porsche video, uh, that is the conduit, what was left of the conduit that uh, we made those uh, brackets for the rear quarter panels out of. So uh, Luke's here helping me, so we're gonna try to, uh, well, I actually, I'm here helping Luke. I'm, so uh, off camera, we uh, drilled a hole in the very back of this. So we're gonna pull that wire through there like that. Let's see how much we're gonna need. And we're gonna try to run this wire up in here. That's probably gonna be the hardest thing. Oh, it's going pretty easy. We really need to put a piece of rubber grommet on that wire going through. Look there, we got it through. 
is coming out. And uh, now the only thing we don't have is uh, some little LED strips. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna need to go to uh, the Home Depot and grab some type of a light tomorrow before you go home and uh, try to finish this. But guys, what do y'all think? If you like this video, give Luke a thumbs up. Yeah. And uh, if you're one of Luke's friends watching, then uh, we are going to be starting a kids hot rod channel, teaching kids all about cars. And our first project is what? To fix the go-kart. To fix the go-kart, yeah. So, uh, yep. If you got any grandkids, I'll let you uh, know what the link is to that channel, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna build some go-kart. All right, guys. Uh, we'll see you in the morning when we get some lights. All right. So, uh, good morning. Saturday morning. Luke wants to finish this up before his parents get here. And uh, we'll go ahead and give it to his dad for his birthday today. So we just got back from uh, Lowe's. And what did we find? Um, like a light to put inside of it. Yep, we found an LED light that's got on and off switches that you can uh, reach up in here and turn off and on. And this is an under cabinet kitchen light, 12 inch. And not really sure what's in the box, but it was. $45, but on clearance for $11.50. So uh, we bargain shopped. <clears throat> so uh, it came with a cord and a plug-in. We're not sure what we got here. And hopefully it's gonna work because I think these were made to link together with another light. So we're not gonna use the link part. We bought a two-prong plug because we're gonna have to cut the plug off of uh, this cable and didn't really want to, you know, uh, solder it or wire nut it or anything like that. So we're trying to keep it clean. So we're hoping that there's enough length here. And if so, then what we're going to do is swap out the uh, wire that we put in the light last night for this light and just put a new plug on it. So that's what we're fixing to do. So let's get started. Well, see how this is uh, wired special and these prongs and stuff, and, and uh, I don't have anything that's going to get those prongs out. Uh, so we're going to have to leave that end on and rewire. Mm -hmm. the... Yeah, let's pull that wire out. Probably going to have to pull it out of the swan neck part first, and then we'll pull... So pull it out of the tube. There you go. All right, now pull it out of there. All right, let me go get some wire cutters and we'll cut which end do we need to cut off. That end right there? Yeah. All right, we'll cut that end off. All right, now we need to, uh, let's thread that wire back in, but we're gonna have to start at the top and thread it back in. Let's go ahead and see if we can pull that sticker off. There you go. slack at the top and uh, that's not real long but I think it's gonna be just fine if he wants to put that on a workbench or his desk so now we need to feed it through the hole on the pulley that you drilled last night from the inside out all right and I'm gonna find a rubber grommet for that pull it through easy make sure it don't have an it's knotted up in the bottom. There you go. Work it through that way. All right. 
good job. Now, let's see if uh, we can, while you had it upside down, let's see how we can mount the light in there. All right. Let's get, uh, we'll probably get some steel wool and clean that up it's quick, and then we'll, uh, we'll get the light mounted. How's that? Good. All right. How's it coming? Pretty good. Now get those big oily spots right there where the rocker arms shot oil. Good job. All right, first round of cleaning went great. Get the sides good and the top. That's gonna help that light shine. I think that's gonna be great. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah. Now go in the garage and build something. <laughs>